Hey guys, welcome back to the Bet Monkey Show. I hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. Today, I wanted to give you an updated comparison between SiteGround hosting and uh, Cloudways hosting. Now, this is actually in response to a video I made a few months ago titled Why I Moved from SiteGround to Cloudways Hosting. And the truth is, I am actually going to take down this video very, very soon because the reasons why I moved back then from SiteGround to Cloudways, those reasons are no longer valid. In fact, the affiliate manager for SiteGround saw this video and she reached out to me and said, hey, Alex, there's a couple of things you got wrong in this video and here's the evidence. So I, I, I looked at what she was talking about and I realized that I made quite a few mistakes in this video. So in full disclosure, I will be taking down this video and let me also mention right now that I am an affiliate uh, for both Cloudways and SiteGround. In particular with SiteGround, I have been hosting with them since about 2012. I joined their affiliate program a couple of years ago. Uh, with Cloudways, it's a bit more recent. I joined them back in April. I started hosting with them in April and uh, I started uh, becoming an affiliate for them shortly after. So in full disclosure, I am an affiliate for both of these, uh, for both of these companies. Now, I still use both of them uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. With Cloudways, I host my most important websites on Cloudways, such as my two academies, my personal blog, my uh, WebMonkey blog, and so on. But for my other sites that I use for training, uh, testing purposes, I host all of those on SiteGround. So I actually still use both of them. Now, to compare these two companies, we're going to talk about three major uh, factors. One would be the services offered, uh, pricing, and then support. Okay, so... Let's first of all talk about the uh, services being offered. Both offer you top-notch services. You have everything you need to manage your website, your server, and so on. For example, here is the back end for SiteGround. You have access to your site tools, such as your file manager. You have access to security settings. You can monitor your speed. You have everything available. Same goes with Cloudways as well. This is the back end for Cloudways and Let's say, for example, I wanted to make a change to my own personal site right here. You can see I have all the necessary services I need, monitoring, bot protection, SSL certificate, backups, migration tools, everything is available for you. However, I will give the advantage to SiteGround on this one because SiteGround is a lot easier to use. The back end is very, very easy on the eyes. You don't have to have any technical experience. Everything is laid out for you it's easy to navigate the site tools of uh, SiteGround. With Cloudways, it's a bit more tricky. They don't actually have an interface as such. Yeah, you have everything you need in here, but it's a, it's a bit more technical. I do plan on making a full tutorial on how to uh, navigate your way around the uh, Cloudways backend, but it, it's a bit more difficult. It's a bit more challenging than that of our SiteGround. Okay, so that's that for services, right? Let's now move on to uh, support. And one of the major reasons why I made this video is because I was very disappointed with the uh, support I received from, from SiteGround uh, back around April. So before in the past, I used to have access to live chat support. There's a problem on my website. I jump on live chat. Within a few minutes, the issue is resolved. But suddenly around March, April, they took away live chat support and... If I needed support, I'll have to post a ticket. Now, don't get me wrong, even posting tickets, SiteGround are very, very efficient, but it takes longer. It might take 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes. So I was disappointed and I felt like the support was actually going down in quality. However, live chat support is back for SiteGround. They've reinstated the live chat support and the reason why they took it away was because of the pandemic situation, they were understaffed and quite frankly, they couldn't manage uh, many of the requests that they were getting. So they were a bit overwhelmed, which is understandable. I mean, so many companies were overwhelmed during the uh, pandemic and we're still in, in the pandemic, by the way, but they've adapted. So live chat support is back with SiteGround and as always, the support is excellent. Now with Cloudways, I have been hosting with them since April for about six months now and Whenever I've had issues, the support has also been amazing. I have nothing nothing bad to say about Cloudway support. But again, I'm going to give the advantage to SiteGround only because I've been with SiteGround much, much longer uh, than Cloudways. But again, I have no issues with Cloudway support. The support has been excellent. 
Last but not least right now is going to be pricing and this is one of the major reasons why I am still with Cloudways. Cloudways is actually cheaper, they offer cheaper hosting than SiteGround, but it's a bit more complicated than that. Cloudways doesn't offer you shared hosting. They offer only cloud-based hosting, which, which by the way, cloud-based hosting is typically more expensive than shared hosting. Shared hosting is offered by SiteGround, but they also offer you cloud hosting. Now, here's the thing. When I made this video, I specifically said that cloud hosting with Cloudways was cheaper than with SiteGround. It is true in a way, but let me explain what I'm talking about. See, here is the SiteGround uh, cloud hosting services. So the cheapest uh, service they have is the entry where you pay $80 per month, and then you have access to three CPU cores, six, six gigabytes of memory, and so on. Now with uh, Cloudways, let me show you. Uh, what they have. So with Cloudways for, uh, let me just make sure I am on the right page in here. Okay, so three CPU cores, six gigabytes memory. Uh, okay, so for the $80 per month with Cloudways, you actually have eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, four CPUs, 160 gigabytes of storage compared to uh, what you have here, three CPU cores, six gigabytes of memory and then 40, uh, 40, gig, 40 gigabytes of storage space. So obviously with Cloudways, you get more. But here's the thing, SiteGround, they primarily use Google Cloud. That's the service uh, host, that's the cloud hosting, uh, cloud service provider that, that they use. Cloudways offers you alternatives. And the one you're looking at right now is actually for DigitalOcean, which is the cheapest. If you go over to cl Google Cloud with Cloudways, all of a sudden you realize that, hold on a second, it's actually way more expensive. So that's the thing. So in a way, cloud hosting with SiteGround could also be cheaper than with Cloudways. It all depends if whether or not you're going with a Google Cloud or you're going with digital ocean and Google cloud, by the way, is in my humble opinion, the very best uh, cloud uh, service provider in the world, better than Amazon, better than, than digital ocean. So you're going with Google cloud. You're going with the very, very best. So ultimately it all comes down to what your preference is. The truth is that digital ocean, which are the cheapest in here, have been doing a very, very good job so far. I have no complaints with them and I have no reason to switch over to Google cloud. So, it's it's 50 50 in a way cloud is, is cheaper for cloud hosting and in another in another way uh SiteGround is cheaper for cloud hosting so ultimately if you're going to ask me alex okay which of these two should i go for it depends on your budget first of all if you can afford cloud hosting i would recommend cloudways if you can afford to go a little bit higher with your hosting with your cloud hosting, then you can go with SiteGround's uh, cloud hosting because they use Google Cloud and you get the very, very best experience. But if you're like me, who can't afford to go for the very highest, uh, the best cloud hosting, just stick with DigitalOcean for with Cloudways. But if you don't need cloud hosting, then obviously uh, you want to go with SiteGround because SiteGround offers you uh, shared hosting, which by the way, isn't uh, that bad at all. But please note, there is a massive difference when it comes to speed. There is a massive difference between uh, shared hosting and uh, cloud hosting. So that's it. Hopefully, I have been able to give you an honest comparison between uh, both of them. And uh, I still use Cloudways, like I said, for my most important websites. But for my sample websites, websites for testing purposes, courses, things like that, I host all of those uh, on SiteGround. So again, I will be taking down this video because there are a few mistakes I made and uh, things have actually changed uh, since then. One more thing to mention is that if you are interested in getting any one of these uh, hosting packages, like I said earlier, I am an affiliate for them. I will have my affiliate links in, in the description box below. And particularly with Cloudways, Cloudways are actually offering you a very special deal through me. Uh, you can get 20% uh, off for the first two months uh, when you host with them if you use my link uh, in the description box below. So 
that's it for today's uh, video. If you have any questions or comments, do of course put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe, hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.